In this section, we will learn how to make the pairwise comparisons when introducing subcriteria into our model. I have here the same model that I used for the previous sections with all of the pairwise comparisons the same, except for the ones I just added. Two subcriteria for the cost criterion, acquisition cost and maintenance cost. I want to do the pairwise comparison for these, so I click on cost and go to the judgments tab. Now, as you can see, there's only one comparison to make because there's only two subcriteria. If we had more, then there would be more choices. Now, perhaps I think that maintenance cost is strongly more important to me than acquisition cost, so I'll choose five. Now, as you can see over here, the inconsistency is zero because there's only one comparison. If there was more than one comparison, we'd have to keep an eye on that inconsistency value. Now I need to do the pairwise comparisons for the alternatives with respect to the subcriteria. So we'll start with acquisition cost. And remember that these are just kind of made up numbers because I'm not talking about real cars here. I don't really know what they are. Let's say eight, five, and four. And we'll go back to maintenance cost and do the same thing. And we'll say seven, five, and three. So now I can come back here and synthesize. And as you can see, even with the subcriteria, CAR2 is still the best choice.